Hello, good morning. It's Jesse from freehotwater.au. Uh, today I'm going to be doing an in-depth comparison of how our heat pump, the Ecogenica 215F, compares to some of the more premium heat pumps in the market. And uh, I'll let you make a decision uh, at the end, but I think the results really do speak for themselves. Uh, they're quite surprising. So in terms of what you pay, it's not always what you get back. So let's jump right into the video. So this is the heat pump that we provide. It's an Ecogenica 215F. It's 215 liter heat pump with a separate compressor on the side. So let's just run through these details. Uh, first, it comes with a seven year warranty on the tank and a five year warranty on the compressor, which is really good. It's actually more than uh, most of the warranties of, of the heat pumps that we're going to be seeing. This system only costs $33 if your current system is uh, outside and electric and you're based in Sydney or Newcastle. You know, we'll probably be moving to Central Coast and Wollongong pretty soon as well, and we do all of Victoria. Um, so, seven year warranty on the tank, five years on the compressor, and two years labor. So here we've got the coefficient of performance. This is the most important metric when it comes to measuring the efficiency of a heat pump. Um, it stands for, yeah, COP, coefficient of performance. The higher this number, the better. So basically a COP of 4.8 means the system is 4.8 times more efficient than a standard electric system. So it produces 4.8 kilowatts of heating energy for every kilowatt that you put in to power the compressor. That's basically how heat pumps work. They're much more efficient than electric systems because compressors uh, somehow um, produce way, uh, way more efficient than, um, than electric coils. So it's got a COP of 4.8, which is really good. And you have one of the best warranties on the market for a product that costs $33. So make no mistake, this is a premium system at unbelievable prices. Um, we also compare some of the cheaper uh, products on the market, which we're not doing in this video, but uh, we smash those as well quite easily. So the first product that we're going to be looking at is the iStore. Uh, it's quite a popular system. You may have seen it around and it's selling for like roughly two and a half to three thousand dollars. Is it worth it? In my honest, biased opinion? No, I don't think it's worth it. Um, the reason being it's very expensive and it actually doesn't perform as well as the Ecogenica 215F. If you look at the coefficient of performance, it's just a 4.1. It's just a 4.1. So we have 4.8, uh, they're 4.1, which is probably 20 to 30% more efficient for the ecogenic unit. And that's not the only area we beat them as, as well. We also beat them in every single way uh, when it comes to the warranty. We've got a seven year warranty on our tank, five years on the compressor and two years on uh, labor. I don't know what that was. So we, we beat them in pretty much every way. So. It's really not worth the extra two and a half, three thousand dollar investment that could go in much better places, especially when our system beats it on every metric that matters. Um, I think they actually updated their warranty as well. So, uh, yep. So they've got five years on all parts. It looks like, uh, and one year labor. Cool. So have a look at this because the warranty. The warranties have changed after October 2022, but we do beat them in terms of warranty on the tank and warranty on the compressor as well. Okay. So you can also check out their reviews on product review. They're pretty good, 4.8 stars out of five. And if you have a look across here, people are paying 2,300 to over $3,000 for the system. So it does vary the price but it is not cheap by any standard. This guy paid a lot of money as well. Okay, so here's our second system that we're comparing. They look almost identical. It's another single unit system. Uh, and it's got a 4.27 um, coefficient of performance. So we also beat them in terms of coefficient of performance. Um, to no surprise really, because these single unit systems have a much smaller compressor sitting on top, uh, they're limited for space here, so it's just not as efficient. It doesn't perform as well. Um, yeah, and in terms of warranty, let's look that up. 
So yeah, they have a five year warranty on the tank, two years on parts and one year of labor. So we beat them there as well. Uh, the Evo heat is also rated quite highly. It's rated 4.8 stars out of five. Uh, but it is an expensive system. It's $3,300, um, $4,200. It's not cheap at all by any stretch of the imagination. When you compare that to our system, which is rated still quite highly, 4.6 out of 5, it's $33. Okay, two to $3,000 difference. You save a lot of money. It's really a no-brainer. Now, the only system that we're coming to so far uh, that actually beats us in terms of efficiency is Reclaim. Okay, they've got a COP of 5, right? So one kilowatt of uh, heating energy for the Reclaim has an output of 5 kilowatts of, of thermal output. So one kilowatt of uh, electricity has a 5 kilowatt thermal output, which is better than uh, Ecogenica's two. Uh, 4.8 4 rating but only marginally so and if you look at the price it's $5,000 $5,000 4850 from what people are saying it's not worth it it's not worth the extra marginal 0.2 uh, decimals of efficiency so that you can get a better system they do have a better warranty but I'll leave it up to you I have, I have been uh, really pushing the Ecogenica 215F, but I do think the results speak for themselves. It's a $33 system in most cases to upgrade. Um, if you've got a gas system and, uh, it, it, well, it depends on the pricing for gas and uh, across states, we also do uh, solar upgrades and heat pump upgrades. You would have to look at our pricing page um, to see the prices there because they do differ across states. But yeah, guys, I think the results really speak for themselves. Um, our system is much cheaper. It comes with a better warranty. It's reliable. Um, there's not really much else to say. If you've got any questions, let me know in the comments below. The next video will be about uh, how the performance of a heat pump compares to uh, electric systems, off-peak electric systems, uh, and gas systems. and probably solar systems as well. Um, yeah, that's really it. Thanks, guys.